Hello, I am Fedora Gamer, and today we are kicking it with our darker purpose again. I've already made a video on this game, but the developers have released the pre-alpha demo to the public instead of just a press demo, and in the new demo they released there is a ton more content. And it is publicly available. Go download it, play it. Link will be in the description. You can get download it off their Kickstarter. But it, there is so much more in this game now in this new alpha they've released that there is just so much that I want to show you guys. For one, the class schedule is now unlocked. There is only a little bit to it, but it'll give you an idea of how the whole game's per persistent progression system will work. Only There's only four of them available in one of the categories. They take the credit balance, as you can see in the lower left-hand corner, which you gain those by completing levels. And then you unlock these different... Let's see if I can find the right key here. Different benefits. And as you can see, it says two periods left, and all the other categories have three periods left. So what that says to me, I assume how this is going to work, is you unlock these, and then you can have three from each of the categories equipped at one time. We have here juice boxes grant 10% more healing. Very useful. 5% more damage versus capulets, which is one of the different gangs. So one class of enemy you'll do more damage to. Add 5% movement speed, which is the one I've unlocked. And add 2% base damage. This is an interesting decision. You can either get 2% base damage, you know, damage everything 2% more, or 5% more versus Capulets. Well, you could also do both of them. But I, I, yeah, the speed boon, the speed boost is very much required in my opinion. It's a very, very useful thing to have. And... More healing from juice boxes I'll probably pick up as well. We can't see any of the other ones, unfortunately, but this gives you a good grip on how this entire persistent progression will work. Now let's go ahead and get into the game and show you some of the other new stuff that's been added. I'm going to go on the easier haul. One thing I'll say in this new demo compared to the press demo I was sent earlier, it is much harder. So much harder, even on the easier hall of demonstration. As you can see, it gives those two crystals for a reward, or you can do the tougher hall for five crystals. And how I assume this is going to work in the full out game is you'll be given choices as your your path branches to take easier levels for less rewards, thus leaving you less prepared for the uh, higher levels. Or you can do the harder ones, gain more reward and better items. Again, those rewards, though, allow you to unlock things for persistent bonuses through your different lives, so... Go ahead. Alright, this here, this very cuddly, friendly-looking vending machine, is a shop. They've added a shop to the game. The items aren't randomized in the shop now. I do believe they probably will be in the full game. We can get Juice Box, Vexing Vial, Broken Mirror. I don't know what Broken Mirror does. I'm not exactly sure what Vexing Vial does, but I know what that line of items does. And I'll talk about those here in a little bit. And of course, Juice Boxes are your healing potions. So now the coins that drop have an actual use. Let's go ahead and see some more of the new enemies. A lot of new room designs. Some of them are... Well, they're downright diabolical. They do a lot of this, a lot of hiding coins under the Tesla coils, which I have a bad habit of not rolling at the right time and getting zapped by those things. Come on. Uh, okay. Well, that was a pointless room. That was a little bit of experience. There's also been several new perks added to the game, and as long as I live long enough, I'll be able to show you some of those, possibly. Let's try it down. Uh, this this room's kind of a nightmare. I'm doing better than I did the last time I was in here, actually. That thing has a ton of life. I am not equipped to fight that guy yet. But I can't get out of here without beating the room. He has quite a bit of damage resistance. Actually, I know something. I was only doing five damage. These, what these are, is uh, the meek, I believe, is what they're called, and they're kids in trash cans because they're physically weak, so they attack you from range from inside trash cans. And I believe if you attack with the lid down, you do much less damage. 
Okay, that guy is dealt with. Okay, that's interesting to know. They have much higher defense if the lid is closed. Oh. Let's see. Oh, lifesteal. That is one of my favorite items, actually. It is a very good item to get early on. Oh, here's one of the new enemies, which can, kind of are a nightmare. These guys, the first time I ran into them, completely kicked my ass. I have no idea what the name of these guys are. I need to read the kick lore on the Kickstarter a little closer. I don't, I don't remember most of the names of the different enemies and the different gangs. There we go. This is actually going a lot better than my last couple runs in this new press alpha. The, my first run ended very quickly. We'll see. I haven't got any of the really insane difficult rooms yet. Gotta watch out for that guy. He likes to speed up. And I'll get an item from this. Aha. Let's see. Neither of these are any of the new perks, unfortunately. I'm gonna go with this one. The gangs of new ed edge word move slower. This, in my opinion, is probably one of the, is probably the best perk in the demo right now. 20 damage, 10% move speed makes enemies move slower and more squishy. It is just an outright amazing perk. And this is one of the new. I believe this is one of the new items. Maybe it's not. Oh yeah, the amazing talking desks that I love so much have some new dialogue now. Oh, this room is terrible. Whoever made this room is this just sadistic. Just I'm not going to go after that juice box. I'm full on juice boxes right now anyway. But I do want these coins so I can get something from the uh, vending machine. You can see the black area around the... Ah, my rolling failed. Okay, I got one coin. That's good enough. Oh, for a second I thought it was an empty room. Another one of these paper wad throwing guys. There we go. Now well, that room just gave me a little bit of experience. It was, it was worth it. Leveling up is quite important. Let's not get... Oh, jeez. I don't like... Well, run away. This is the entrance to the boss room, which now usually has between one and three coins chilling in the front for you. I won't go to the boss yet. This room is just death. We will run away from that. Ah! That wasn't done very well. These ricocheting shots are pretty useful. Just die. Just die already. And we will get another item here. Hopefully it's one of the new items. This is kind of a cramped quarters for this fight. Aha, yes, one of the new items. And it's a whole line of items that, ha that have similar effects. They are chemicals. Makes juice boxes special. <clears throat> this is something that I kind of dislike a little bit. And uh, I, I might talk to the developer about it. But one thing that uh, this has different than Binding of Isaac is Binding of Isaac is usually very vague and obscure about what the items do. And here, most of them spell out right exactly what they do. And I'm not saying that it's a bad method the way Binding of Isaac does it, but I do like the transparency that uh, Our Darker Purpose has for the most part. But that doesn't continue into those new string of items the that boost the effect of your juice boxes, your healing potions. They give you some kind of buffs like damage or critical bonus for mm, like 20 seconds maybe. Which makes them very useful, but you don't know what it does until the first time you use it. If they're going to go with the transparency method, I would like them to do it across the board. Speaking of that, one new feature that was added in this public alpha that I forgot to show you is that you can open your character sheet now and see what all you have. Your damage, your attack speed, the lessons you have, the items you have picked up, and the perks you have gained. So, again, that's awesome with the transparency, yet you still... Yeah, it's not spelled out for you exactly what those chemicals do until the first time you use a juice box. They do stack, and you can have multiple at a time, making your juice boxes much more of a valuable buff resource as well as healing. And there's another juice box I'm not going to risk getting. Oh, that one's not too hard to get. 
just heal myself up and yes 15% crit chance and as you can see I've changed color now which doesn't look healthy but it gives me 15% crit chance and there it's worn off very good very very useful for boss fights all right let's see what else I can find I'm actually doing amazingly well uh, get away from the spiky balls of death those things are my okay let's see if I can get this coin yeah ninja rolled that one let's see if we can go up now I haven't found the rooms that really generally kick my butt there's a a new trap added where these evil chalkboards that shoot chalk clouds at you or something and they're static and you cannot kill them and there's a room that has four of them and a bunch of tesla coils and it, oh, it's a nightmare let's see what's over to the left here a nightmare in a good way there that's one of the uh, things they're telling you about this game is hard difficulty which is not in my opinion a bad thing here's a, another I'm getting a lot of these electrocution rooms Ah, oh, almost got through that. Ah, almost got through it again. You got, you have to be much better with the rolls than I am to, to survive through these. Oh, I'm still at, not, I still have full, excuse me, 85%, 85 health and three juice boxes. So I'm actually doing really well. I got a generous randomization of the levels this time. I guess we will go ahead and check out the boss. Looking at the map here, the other thing they added is you can see where the doors are on the map now, which is very useful. I'm trying to remember where the boss room was, though. Now, these Tesla coils are my bane. Seriously. Okay, that is one thing I dislike, and I consider this feedback to the developer. Give like a half second in vulnerability when you enter a room or something is that happens a lot where I enter a room and there is no time to react before traps damage me considerably half time okay we will pop this and get some more crit chance okay this fire is ruining my life come on frothy Come on. Get away from the damn fire. I can burn all my juice boxes without worry though since there is no other level. There's only the one level. So I don't have to worry about trying to hold on to juice boxes past this. I can just restart and play this one level again, which I probably will until I unlock all of the class schedule buffs. And here I go, I got two green crystals. Gives you a little bit of more information now. Damage taken and damage dealt. Grade passing, which is all I've ever got so far. Now we'll go ahead and go unlock something else in the class schedule here. I will probably go with this. The juice boxes don't actually heal you very much, only like 15 life. So that's a very useful one to have. As you see, the periods left went down, so I have equipped two of three that I can in this category which will be some serious decision making as each category has what is this 25 different buffs whatever you want to call them available so you can there's a whole slew of different builds you can design once all of this will be unlocked 25 different buffs in each category and five different categories so it's pretty interesting I'm uh, looking forward to seeing what kind of builds people can come up with if there's a way to do some interesting theme builds perhaps I'm going to get out of that and that is the our darker purpose update tons more content new enemies new level uh, new rooms a lot of new items that I only got to show you a few of I never did go and see if I could afford anything from the the vending machine the shop I do want to see what that broken mirror does and that vexing vial in the vending machine is another one of the chemicals that will as far as I know, I assume will add some kind of effect to your juice boxes, which is a really interesting line of items that I actually really like that idea. Well, this has been Our Darker Purpose. Again, the link will be in the description. Check out their Kickstarter. Go show these guys some love. Go play this yourself. It is amazingly fun. 
I've been Fedora Gamer. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.